you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is a profile on Mayor Phil Bredesen, the mayor of Nashville, Tennessee. And of course, we have with us in the studio uh, Mayor Phil Bredesen. And of course, Mayor, let me welcome you to uh, the show this morning. Well, thank you, Dr. Haining. I'm have been, uh, what's this, the fourth show we've fourth done show. together? That's right. And Always it's certainly a privilege it. to have you here to uh, sort of do what we believe uh, uh, would uh, sort of uh, characterize this show, and that is to sort of sum up. Uh, the administrations that uh, you've had here at Nashville. As a matter of fact, I think, uh, Mayor, you will recall that uh, uh, shortly after you announced uh, for the uh, mayor of Nashville that you were a guest on one of our earlier shows, and right. you gave us a lot of information about your background, your education, and that kind of information. And certainly, uh, there are still a large number of Nashvilleans who might not know you from that perspective. And so let's start by having you to talk about your background, your education, some of the things that were important and some of the things that were in a, in, in a real sense motivating in making you decide to uh, run for the uh, mayor of Nashville, Tennessee. Let's do it from that perspective. I think that that will sort of help us to summarize sure. it. It's, um, I, I grew up in a small town in upstate New York um, and uh, a very small town, about, about 1,100 people. Um, grew up, uh, lived with my grandmother uh, she had 11 children, all of whom lived in that town and had families, so that's actually where I should have run for mayor. I might have gotten elected the, uh, the uh, first time. Um, went off from there to Harvard, which is where I went to college, and uh, studied physics there, something I, of course, use every day in my job as, uh, as mayor. And, um, you know, over the years, uh, uh, went out and got involved in the, in the business world, uh, primarily with computers to start with, and had learned a lot about those when I was, was studying in college and uh, on into healthcare, and eventually started my own company and, and grew it up mm -hmm. and, and, uh, uh, and, and sold it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I found myself in the late 1980s, mm -hmm. um, having had a career in business and uh, uh, having sold my company, and I wanted to, uh, I guess, to give something mm -hmm. back, to decide yeah, what yeah. I wanted mm -hmm. to do and uh, that, would, mm -hmm. that maybe could help some people, and, and uh, decided uh, that I'd like to be mayor. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I guess I would have thought when I was in college that it was the federal government that did everything, yeah, uh -huh. but as I got, you know, as I learned more about it, I, I really liked the idea of being mm -hmm. in a job where the rubber meets the road, mm -hmm. closer, closer to the people, and and um, so I've really, I really enjoyed it. I've been mayor for seven and a half years now, mm -hmm. and uh, got a half year to go, mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, uh -huh. and uh, have have enjoyed it very much. And I hope people mm -hmm. people think that I've uh, contributed to the mm -hmm. city during the time I've been here. As a matter of fact, uh, I understand that your last day in office will be in September. Right. And I think that that will give us an opportunity to look at those administrations. And let's do it from that perspective. I think we've got enough time here to uh, sort of give you an opportunity to reflect on some of the things that you've been involved in and perhaps many of the things that you've not had an opportunity to reflect upon in quite a while. But to look at it from that perspective, to uh, talk about uh, your two administrations and right. what you considered to be the major achievements in both those administrations, and, and there's certain other areas that we'd like to talk about, but from your own sure. perspective and in your own words, from that perspective. Sure. You know, I think when you're first elected to a job like mayor, there's a certain amount of time where it takes you to put, get your feet on the ground and understand the levers of the job, particularly if you're from outside the political system, which I was. I'd never held a, a political office before. Um, uh, probably the first, in fact, the first major thing that I became involved with uh, was really this whole Meharry General merger, and uh, in a way, it's what I'm going out working on as, as well. Um, but that was something that, because I'd been involved in healthcare for a lot of my professional life, was a natural and comfortable mm -hmm. kind of thing to do. And I'm very proud of it. I think it's, uh, um, I think that ultimately what we put together was uh, good for General Hospital mm -hmm. and helped to ensure its survival. I think it certainly was good for Meharry and helped to. Uh, solidify and strengthen that institution, and, and I feel feel very very good about it. It's gone along, mm -hmm. uh, gone along very well. Now, there's been a, a recent move in reference to that. What, what's the most recent right. development? In well, the most recent thing was uh, was that uh, uh, Meharry and Nashville uh, and Vanderbilt mm -hmm. are all working together now yeah. as a team. Um, Vanderbilt has been brought in. In fact, just uh, just the other night, mm -hmm. uh, the council finally passed all this all this material. Vanderbilt has brought been brought in to manage the day to day yeah. administrative side of the hospital. Um, Harry will continue to manage the medical side yeah. uh, of the hospital. Uh, so Vanderbilt sort of substitutes for the city in that mm -hmm. regard. I think that'll help everybody a lot because Vanderbilt doesn't have as many as many constraints on mm -hmm. what they can do as the city as they can make decisions faster in that environment. Um, 
Uh, they've got a great purchasing program there. They can buy supplies and equipment less expensively than the mm -hmm. city can. I think it'll benefit the hospital, and I know mm -hmm. that uh, I know Meharry is real happy about good, it. Good, very good. So everybody's happy with it in terms of the layout. So, so far, everybody's happy, mm -hmm. but uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Very good. You know, uh, and, and, and looking at that as one of the uh, hallmarks of your uh, first administration, uh, also I think that one of the things that was very, very important had to do with downtown development. Right. Uh, uh, generally, when we reflect upon Nashville before you became mayor. Certainly there had been efforts to uh, uh, modernize and develop downtown, but let's talk about it from that perspective, downtown well, development. Yeah, when I ran for the office, um, it's hard to remember now, but there was a lot of uh, talk about in that campaign about downtown development. It was one of the major, I would say one of the major issues. What are you going to do to get the downtown back again? Uh, so I've worked, uh, worked hard on that. I think we've had some, some good successes. We really started out um, with this decision to build the arena. That was the first big move downtown. I had looked at before that whether or not we could do something with uh, retail downtown. And I, I guess the conclusion I came to is that was very difficult. Um, uh, we have a lot of retail space in Nashville, uh, a lot of it out in suburban shopping centers, and I thought it was going to be very hard to get people to come and shop downtown, at least in the same stores they could go to any one of a dozen malls and, uh, and, and go to. Um, but entertainment seemed to be an area that we really could build around, and a lot of cities uh, have. Um, so we made a commitment in terms of the arena um, to bring people down there to commit to entertainment, and it's worked. It's worked amazingly well. I you mean, think that very good? Yeah, there's been a, there's been a lot of new investment uh, in mm -hmm. the downtown area. Uh, there's been a um, a lot of new people coming downtown mm -hmm. who hadn't been down there before to uh, mm -hmm. events and sporting events and mm -hmm. music events and, and so on. And I'm very, very pleased with the way that's all worked. Oh. Now, there's a lot of work yet to be done. Mm -hmm. I don't think anybody, we shouldn't be sitting on our hands at this point. We need to keep, uh, uh, keep working at, um, at uh, growing the downtown and getting new businesses to locate down there. And, and but I think we're on the right track. And so the arena is the key, was the key, do you think? I think it the was the first big commitment mm -hmm. that people who had money of their own to invest were looking up and saying, well, if the city's willing to invest $120 million mm -hmm. in arena down there, um, maybe we should be a part of that. Mm -hmm. A most recent thing is, uh, as you probably know, is there's a, uh, a hotel complex yeah. mm -hmm. uh, going up right adjacent to the arena. And um, no, it talk is about that. I don't think that many people are familiar with that. Yeah, there's a, a Hilton uh, Suites mm -hmm. Hotel that will be going up um, just off Broadway, right next to the arena. Mm -hmm. um, it'll be, I think it's approximately 600 rooms, if I'm not yeah. mistaken, on that number. Um, it's in, it's interesting in that it's a partnership that includes um, uh, includes an out of town developer and uh, some local partners in the thing, including a significant minority interest in the hotel, African American interest in the uh, in the hotel, and um, uh, I'm real I'm real pleased with it. I think they're going to build a very fine hotel that's going to help us bring convention business mm -hmm. to the city and certainly be a place where people who come into events at the arena mm -hmm. can stay. Um, and um, it's going to be a fine, mm -hmm. fine facility. Mm -hmm. Now, Mayor, of course, uh, when you talk about uh, downtown development, uh, you have to look across the uh, Cumberland River, and I think that uh, that's right. another one of those. <laughs> the big one uh, over there. That's <laughs> the big development. Let's, what about the stadium? What, where do we stand with that? And let's talk about, yeah. uh, you know, the very idea of being able to uh, conceive of uh, Nashville as a NFL city in terms right. of where we were when you first yeah. started this. Of course, I hate to raise that. We've got only a minute uh, before our commercial break, but let's start talking about that. Okay. Um, it's probably, we can continue on a little bit yes. after that if it's okay. Um, when I, we started with the arena, uh, there really wasn't any thought of having major league professional sports. In fact, I still got a couple of newspaper columns I clipped and, mm -hmm. and keep in my office where people say, you know, what a stupid idea it was that we never might have professional sports here. Um, what we discovered as we got going in the arena was that it probably was a pretty attractive market for professional sports. And we started going out and feeling around and looking, and uh, particularly for an NBA or an NHL team to come to, come to town. Uh, we had several false starts. Um, you know, we had to get out there and try the Timberwolves, if you remember, and the New Jersey Devils and, uh, and others. Uh, but in the end, we were successful in attracting not only a hockey team, but also uh, kind of out of the blue, we got a request to, to consider football, and we have, and successfully. And let me interrupt here, Mayor, yeah. for our first commercial break. Sure. We'll be back with uh, you following this short commercial break. We're talking to...